It's me. I like this video thing. It makes me feel like I'm with my friends, even though I'm just talking to a little square. Mm. Um, anyway, so I don't know if you guys know this, um, but I am in Spanish kindergarten this year. Yes. It's really awesome. I'm going to be bilingual and um, that's going to open up a lot of doors in my future and um, just give me a cutting edge in life. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. But I just wanted to say that I am really, really well informed by my teacher. I get, you know, three to four emails a day just letting me know that I can go right ahead and and go through that uh, Spanish vocabulary. Um, I could rewatch the songs or the videos that we saw at school during class and in circle time and other parts of the day. Um, and, you know, the school, the school is a really great school. My school, they'll send me an additional five emails every day just to, um, you know, make sure that I know how I can be supporting my school. And, you know, that's very, very important. You know, I'm also in fifth grade. Fifth grade, well, there's an hour and 20 minutes of homework that I have to do every night. Um, that's just basic. And then whatever assignments are on top of that. So, you know, maybe it will be two to three hours if I have a hard time concentrating. Um, and it might be a little bit hard for me to get started. Um, you know, but that's no big deal because it's fifth grade and I can stay up until 9.30 or 10 doing my homework. Um, you know, and here's, well, maybe I'm not, I might be having a little bit harder time with fifth grade because I didn't know, couldn't remember what a, an array was in fifth grade math. And then, well, I came home and I didn't know what study link 1.7 was. I was, it was, had, it was due the next day, but I didn't know what it was. And, um, oh yeah, then there was like, do this every single day dot com, um, regarding literature and 40 different types of books. Uh, yeah, I need to do that every day or every week, but I couldn't remember my passcode. So, you know, maybe fifth grade's a little bit trickier for me, but, um, you know, it shouldn't be, because here, here are my papers on, um, you know, all the ways that I can further my education and my learning, and, um, the different things, my mad minutes, and all the things that I just can do outside of the six hours of school. And so it's really six hours in school and like maybe six hours at home of homework. It's, it's no big deal, right? Um, but you know, it's really great. My school has a partnership with me, um, with my parents. This is an open communication. This is a dual effort. And um, so I just really, I'm glad for that support, and I'm glad that, um, what? <gasps> Phoebe, what did you say? She says, I'm not in kindergarten. She says, I'm not in fifth grade. Please. I'm in kindergarten. I'm in Spanish immersion kindergarten. I am in fifth grade, I have a lot of homework, and it's a lot of work, and it's a lot of communication, it's a lot to keep up with, with my teachers, Phoebe. And no, I don't have time to play with you. I'm busy doing everything else that I gotta do that has been written down on my form when I come home from school. I just have to tell you that this is a vacuum and Jesus. And I need both of them to get through the day. Um, and so I'm thankful for them. And Phoebe might be right. I might not be in kindergarten and fifth grade. My kids. It's my kids. My kids are in kindergarten and fifth grade. But I tell you people, it feels like I am. Me. It's intense. It's overwhelming. Information overload. Part-time job. Good thing I'm not working. All you moms who are working and doing the 6,000 worksheets, emails, and minutes of math and all that, kudos. Kudos. You guys are amazing. I am going to get a self-help book on how to be organized and how a mom can help their children who can't seem to keep things straight. <laughs> We're all in the same boat. Okay, just wanted to let you know 
what's happening in my household. All right, talk to you later. Bye.